Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with the series on a project which we are building with Java and MongoDB. Now basically till this point we were able to create a Spring Boot project which has basically some controllers using which you can request to the database which is in MongoDB and we have some uh, documents available there, we have a collection using which we are fetching data and then we were able to fetch data, we were able to submit a new post, right? We are basically working with a job post application here. And then in the previous video, we have also seen how do we create a search index? How do we create a pipeline? And then we were able to filter data, right? So basically we were able to search, we were able to sort data, we were able to limit. If you have not seen those videos first, I would recommend you to watch the first two videos to get proper understanding what we are doing. If you have already seen that, let's continue. So basically at this point, we know how to do it from the MongoDB aggregation pipeline console and we were able to get the data, right? But now I want to achieve that with the help of Java. So how do I fetch data from Java application? Whatever we have done here. And I think that will be tricky, right? It will, we have to write multiple lines of code, multiple files to filter out and all those stuff. Let's see how complex that would be. Apart from that, we'll also connect our application with the React project. Remember we have the React project we, which was not working because we, we stopped the earlier project which was working and then we are building the Java project from scratch. So we'll also connect those two applications. Let's see how. So basically uh, the pipeline is ready here, right? So this is what you got. But now that what I want is I want to do the same thing from Java. So maybe as a Java developer when you, uh, maybe we can create an API where you can search for a particular term and it should do those processing here. Now to do that, it's not very complex, okay? So in the Java code, which we have here, we can add one more controller. Let's say, if, let, let, let me just add one more controller here, which is public. Uh, it will return the list of posts, of course, the same thing, but this time it will be filtered, right? So the difference between, in fact, let me just write it next to, or just below the get mapping, this one. Uh, so this should be similar, right? Or maybe I can say search to make it simple. So we are searching for something, right? So it should also return some data. So I can say return repo dot find all. As of now, let's, let me just go with find all. And the request for this would be get mapping. And I want the request type should be, uh, it should be for posts. The only difference is in the post, I will also specify the text which, 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 I, which I want to search. Example, let's say I'm searching for Java. So it, it should be Java. But then I want to make it dynamic. So I can say text, whatever is user is entering. So if a user says Java, this will be replaced by Java if a user says blockchain or maybe Mumbai. So whatever text a user want to search, this will get replaced. But how will I accept that in a variable? So in that case, we have one more annotation which is called path variable and I can say string text. So whatever data is coming here, example, the URL is let's say posts slash Java. Now this text will be replaced by Java and that's what you will get here. Okay, as of now, we are just doing find all just to see if this works and whatever text you are passing here. And how do I verify that? Let me just run this code. I mean, restart the server. And okay, everything is working. There's no error. Let me just go back to my browser and swagger the UI. Let's refresh controller. Uh, you can see we have three now. So initially we had only two. This time we also have a text search. If I click on that, it will ask you for a text. Oh, we have not... Um, okay, try it out. It will ask for the text. Let's say if I say Java and if I, uh, let me be very, very specific, which is Mumbai because we only have one or two with Mumbai post. But if I execute, you can see we have received multiple, not just two, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, you can see we have received multiples. Filtering is not happening. Okay, we have to do something for that, right? Now, why it is not working is because it's very simple. We are saying find all. We don't, we should not be saying find all. We have to be spe very specific. Can I say search by text. I mean, whatever text I'm getting here, it should search by text, or maybe I can say find by text. So I can say find by text. Uh, but you can see it is giving you error because there's no method which says find by text. Uh, that's tricky. So what I can do is instead of touching our post repository, which is very specific. So post repository is extending Mongo repository here, which provides you basic operation, fetching data, posting and all those basic features, right? Cut, op cut operations, create, read, update, and delete. If you want to do something else, you want to search based on your own condition, that's where we have to implement it. That's where we have to do some customization. So what I can do is I can just use, I can just create one more. Uh, okay, this should be a part of something else. This should be a part of, 
or the repository package. So I can say this is repository. And I want to move this post repository here. And in the same repository, I want to create one more class now, or uh, interface actually, which is, let's say for search, search post, or maybe I can say search repository. I'm just finding a good word for it. So I can say search repository, that's it. Now in this, what I want is I don't want to use any MongoDB in, uh, already present methods. I want to get my own. So can I create a method? In fact, it's an interface, so I can declare it here. So I can say find by text, which will accept a string. I can say string text, right? And it should return the list, list of posts. So basically I'm creating a new interface, but then the only thing is this thing is not present in the Spring data or the MongoDB features. We have to implement it by ourselves. Okay, for that, what I will do is I will create a class which basically implements this. I can, I can say search a repository implementation and this particular class should implement our search repository. As I mentioned, we have to implement this code by ourselves, right? Uh, okay, it says we have to implement a method, which is this find by text. So basically we have to return a list, right? So what I will do is as of now, let's keep it empty. So I can say list of post, and I will also make this as a final variable because it's good to have a final variable when you, when you know that it will not be changed. Okay. So I will name this as posts itself equal to it's an array list. So I can say array list. Okay. That's it. So we have created this array list here and we have to import the package. Is it done? Am I missing something here? Oh, I'm missing a new keyword. My bad. Okay. So you can see we got the list here and the same list I will return. Of course, at this point it will return an empty list, right? And I just want to verify if it is doing that. So I will register the server. At least it should return an empty list. It should not be giving all the data. Okay. It's not working. Oh, I forgot to one more thing. This is a new class which we have created, right? And I want my thing to read this. So I can say it should be component. Yeah, one more thing. In fact, in the post controller, we still have an error. We don't want to say repo, right? Repos don't have find by text. What, what, where do we have find by text? It is there in the search repository. So apart from the post repository, I need to create one more, which is search repository. And I can call this as S repo, which is for search. I'm very bad with names. So let's go for S repo. And here we'll say this is auto wired. So basically now we have two different repositories. One, which is getting the features from spring data. And second is from the, what we have created. And instead of cre creating this as repo dot find text, we have search repo by find text. It is asking me for the text as well. Let's enter that. So at this point, things should work and we should get a empty string. Let's verify if that works. Let me just run this application. Uh, no error. Let me just go back to my swagger. And if I say execute now, it should return the empty at least. That's the idea. Yeah. So we are, we are getting to empty, right? At least we are not getting everything. Now we have to make sure that we fill this up. How? Let's go back to our code. And we just need to change this particular method. We have to fill this list. How will we do that? It's quite simple, actually. Uh, if I go back, in fact, I don't know the code, right? So what I can do is I can just go back to my cloud and see the beauty here. Uh, if I, the, the, you can see in the aggregation, when we do all this pipeline here, when we created this pipeline here, there's an option of export to language. Let's see what happens. If I click on this, uh, this, is for, this is the pipeline which we have okay, for MongoDB. But if you want a language specific code, this is for Python. What if you want to do that for Java? This is a code. That's it. Just copy this code and it will work. Oh, not exactly. Uh, we have to do something extra as well. So we need to import. You can see we have two uh, checkbox here. Let's click on this. Click on this. You will get the entire stuff. So the first thing we need is this import libraries and copy and paste. And if I go back here, paste, I, I, I need to import all this. The only thing is, uh, I think MongoDB client is not a part of, in fact, you know what I will do? I will not just use import because there's some version issues and uh, I was able to resolve that by not copying it. Okay. Uh, the only thing you will need here is, 
do we need MongoDB client? Okay, how will I get MongoDB client here? Okay, it says we have to create an object. Okay, we, I will not do that. What I will do is I will just go back here. And since we are using Spring Framework, we have to, we can do something extra here. I can say Mongo client and I can say this is client. I will just declare it. I will not create the object. I want Spring Framework to do it for me so that we'll reduce that line. So we don't have to use this line now. The next thing is to ask you for database connection. Now we already have a database connection, uh, but just to keep it simple, I will use the same line. I can use the entire code from here and paste it inside my method here. That simple, okay? It's just that now uh, it's not mo no more MongoDB client. We're just saying client. And we have to import all the packages for MongoDB. We have to import for control space. Anyway, we have already done that before, right? So this should be coming from the Bison. Is it Bison, uh, Mongo? Yeah. And then we have to import for MongoDB collection as well from the client. And then we have to, in fact, we'll change this. We'll not be using find iterable uh, because when I was trying it, it was giving some issues. I found a solution instead of going for find iterable, we are going for aggregate iterable. You know why I'm, why I'm do doing that? Because this aggregate method returns a aggregate iterable. So let's go with that. Let's import it for arrays as well. And done. This is your code. I know this doesn't look good because it's not formatted properly. So I can just do the formatting here so that you can see everything in one line. So basically, let me explain uh, in brief what we have done. So basically what it does is whatever we have done in the pipeline here, right? So this pipeline is converted into Java code. So basically it is using a document search. You can see we are doing a search here. Search is happening based on a text. So we can also replace that with a wildcard. Uh, and then it is asked for the query. What is your query? We have specified the query is Java. Of course, this should be changed. This should not be uh, Java here. We'll replace that later. And then it also asks you for where exactly you want to search. You have to specify the path. So I want to search this in, uh, I want to search this in text, uh, technologies, description, profile. I, would, I also want to specify, I want to sort, but based on what? I want to sort based on the experience and one is ascending order. And then we have to limit by five. I, I only want to see the five post, but then I don't want Java here. What I want is I want text. So whatever text I'm receiving from here, that will be the search term. Okay, this works. But then if you see, we only got data in result. I want this data not in result. I want data in a post. How will you do that? So maybe we have to go, we have to iterate. We have to search one by one post and put that into post. How will you do that? Okay, so how do you get data from result? Oh, there's one more thing missing here. The database name is Talisco. You can also get this from the uh, application.properties. You can just see uh, we already have a database name here, so you can fetch data from there. You can fetch this value. But just to keep it simple, since we got code from the uh, website itself, we'll use that. And here, we need to make sure that we have, uh, okay, we are fetching one by one. So what I can do is I can use a result here and result is iterable, right? So it says iterable, so we can iterate between the elements. And if I say dot, there is a method which is for each. So basically we'll iterate between each document. So I got a document here and I will be using a Lambda expression here, which is much better. So whatever document I receive for each iteration, I will add that in a post as simple as that. So I can simply say post dot or posts dot add. Now the only thing is, I can simply add doc here, but that will not work because doc is a different format, post is a different format. This doc is basically a document format. The post here is basically a Java format. Uh, that will not work. So what we can do is we can basically use a converter here. So there's something called a Mongo converter. So if I go back here and if I say Mongo converter and I can say converter, we just need to use this. And since I want the object of this, I can say auto wired. Now using this converter, so I can say add, but I have to convert this before. So I have to say converter dot, there's a method called read, okay? And then in this, you have to pass two parameters. First is the class type you want to convert. So I want to convert this doc into post format. So post dot class. And the second is a Bison source. Bison is basically document. The document itself is doc. So whatever doc you're receiving, we are passing that here. And this converter will convert that doc into post and it will add into the collection or the list and we, we are returning it. I think we are done with this, but the main question is, will this work? Let's try. So I will save this and I will go back to my swagger. It's here. Oh, we have to restart the application as well. 
restart okay server is running go back here and hopefully this will work click oh there's an error we missed something so basically we are passing mumbai and mumbai is not working in the post so basically there's something wrong with the mapping which we have done it's sending text here that text goes here so what is the exact error let me check this file so we got a client and then we have specified database name as well oh this is empty we have to also specify the collection the collection is job post i missed that okay no errors let's go back here and say execute oh can you see that we got it so we got only one entry which is for mumbai because we don't have more entries for mumbai okay let's try something else let's try with threads there should be only one post or one job with which has threads involved and you can see we got threads so we are basically searching for text now and if i search for let's say java execute and you can see you will get multiple records now it's searching for java in the uh, technology so you're searching for java in the text now what is important is if you can search the experience you can see the list it starts with the one experience one experience two because we have sorted and in total you will get only five you know why five because we have mentioned the limit here if you remove the limit it will be coming with uh, all the records and if you don't mention sort it will just print as it is added in the collection it's that simple okay at this point the swagger is working swagger is very happy but remember when we have a react application refresh if i go home and if i say get job now it's not working the data is not coming here okay what is wrong what why is not coming if i see the console let's see the console here let's see what it says console says there is an issue with uh, okay there's a block there's a problem with the access control allow origin basically we have to up, al allow the origins because they are coming from different server right the request is coming from the local host 3000 so what you can do is for that it's very simple you can just come here and on top of your rest controller you can mention cross origin and you can also mention from where you're getting the request so i can say origins there's only one as of at this point which is http colon slash slash localhost colon 3000 that's the react application we have and that's it we are done with this let's i hope this will work go back here refresh oh it's still not working there's something missing oh it still says blocked oh do i have to apply okay let me know the solution the proper solution for this what i will do time bin is oh first of all it is post it should be all post that's what we have mentioned in the react application i can change that Maybe you can change that in React, React application or you can change it here itself. Just to make it easy, I'm changing it here itself. All post. And then I will use cross origin everywhere in every method just to be safe. And now if I go back and refresh. Oh, can you see that? We got our data. Yay. Things are working out. I don't need you anymore. Close. And you can see we got our entries. And let's see if that search happens. And if I search for Java. Oh, let's search for threads it should print only one yeah it's working can you see that so what i'm what we have done in the react is every time you, you type something if the length is more than two characters it will hit the request so for every character it is hitting the request i guess it is uh no it is it has to match with its words so it is sending the request and the moment it matches with the words you can also implement wildcard and let me know how you do that in the in the comment section if you are implemented wildcard and if it is working record a video upload that on youtube and paste that link in the comments and i will approve it okay i want to i want to see your implementations how you are doing it so this is the threads and uh, yeah this is working we can also try it for hire the talent let me just enter the job profile here which is for let's say editor editor is already there right let's say maybe i want to search for i want to hire a mongodb developer and experience should be let's say three years i'll type something here and the developer should also be familiar with java submit let's refresh and you can see that we got mongodb developer working out right so this is how you build a project so don't worry i will just push this project in the github you will find that in the description for all three videos and yeah we have talked about everything everything is working fine and let me know your experience in the comment section and let me know if you want me to create more of such videos on projects so that's it everyone. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for the videos. Bye-bye.